My name is Jim Burnham. I am the mechatronics teacher here at Silicon Valley CTE. This is my sixth year teaching this class and I'm seventh year teaching. Before that, I was an engineer here in the Valley. If I was gonna summarize this class, it would be mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, mash those together, and you get fire-breathing robots. I'm Kenneth Gentry. My name's Arlette Lopez. My name is Milana Rubin. I kind of decided I wanted to go into engineering in the future in sophomore year, but I realized that our school didn't provide any engineering activities or clubs that related to that that were like sufficient. So I thought this would be a really good opportunity to gain experience and kind of have better tools to improve my skills. The reason why I took mechatronics is because the robotics aspect of it and like being able to basically whatever I want to create, I can create just that whole aspect really shined to me, so that's why I took it. It's really a physics class. It actually counts as A to G physics for your high school requirements. We learn about ACDC circuits, so breadboards and, and LEDs and resistors, capacitors, transistors, just the basic electronics. We'll learn some programming and digital logic, and so we learn to program in C++, and we learn to program in Python, and we do that on some microcontrollers. We use a Arduino for C++ and a Raspberry Pi for Python. And the language isn't so important to me, but more it's about can I interact with the world, see something happening, make decisions in my code, and then actually cause something to happen in the world. And that's what all our projects are really based around. Mr. Burnham has given us access to soldering iron, solder tools, 3D printers, as well as like all the VEX parts uh, for the VEX robotics when we did Skills USA. There's a bunch of like different tools that he's really helped bring out the mechatronics aspect to us. The most interesting part is the fact that you have a bunch of tools laying around for you to use at any moment. You could work on your own projects while learning and I think that's very different than a traditional class like in my home school. Obviously, you just work on assignments while here you can literally build something that you'd like to. There's a lot of resources in the class. Like, we have access to 3D printers, to soldering irons, all sorts of coding material, programs, software for CADing and coding. It's really just a resource thing. Like, there's a lot of things that you can work with. If I was going to say, what's the goals of this class? If a student is going to college, if that's their plan, and they want to go into technology, they want to go into an engineering degree, this is a really good preparatory for that. It's going to give them a lot of information, a lot of opportunity to try things out and see if they really like it. So if they're going to go into computer science or mechanical engineering or mechatronics or electrical engineering, this is a really good fundamental class for them. And so my goal there is also that those students leave my class with skills that they can put to work in a electronics lab here in the Valley and be able to you know, test things and check things and debug things. And so that's the skill that I really want them to have is to be able to have something that immediately is hireable into some of these technology firms in their, in their labs. Some of the things that students can look forward to if they take Mechatronics are a bunch of the tools like making stuff with Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, being able to basically make whatever they want, 3D print whatever they want. Well, they can look forward to really having an open space to be creative and communicate with other peers and kind of work together to build something amazing. I get asked, like, why take the class at SVCTE rather than at their home school? And the answer that I always give is, we have resources and equipment that simply are not available at their home schools. In my class, I've got some big industrial robots, I've got a whole bunch of little rovers, little robot cars, we've got 3D printers, all of these resources that the students have access to anytime they're in my class. So some of the projects that I've worked on to help me better my skills has one been my first ever project, my actual functioning lightsaber. There's this robot that we did and this there was a sensor and the sensor basically is like non-self-destruction. So if it sees a wall, it'll be like, hold on, and it'll turn around. I think some positive experiences just working with other people and realizing how smart everyone is. Just hearing different ideas and hearing different point of views really helps expand your mind. In this class, we get to like go on field trips and visit companies. It's really fun, very chaotic. And so I really think that if you haven't taken anything that's technology related, this is a great class to just get experience doing it. It's a great class to be able to really push yourself into much harder projects. And so take mechatronics.